So today in this video we are going to do some testing with uh, Selenium 4 with Java and in this video we are going to uh, explain like how to work with uh, HTML select element okay there are lots of elements in HTML page uh, so today in this video especially I am going to explain how to work with select element all right now I'll just show you what I'm trying to say like see this is a Wikipedia page see there is a drop down select there are lots of options you can select any option from here Polaski, Slovin, Sina uh, a lot of options are there so you can select any options so we are going to discuss how to do that with automation selenium using selenium okay now here we are using the eclipse and i am using selenium with java if you want you can use other language like python she has any language but uh, today i'm uh, going to use selenium with java and i will use uh, maven as a build management tool I assume that you know uh, basics of Maven. If, in case if you don't know, uh, you can see the Maven video first. I'll make a video for Maven also. Now, in Eclipse, we'll go here to File, New, Other. See here you can see Maven, Maven project okay next uh, I will add it to my working site this is a uh, optional if you don't want you don't need to do this just push the next button but I'm going to add it to a working site selenium more okay then next and I will use the quick start template if you don't want to use any template just make a simple project no problem but I'll use the quick start one Yeah, and then group ID, Selenium, artifact ID, and give the name Wikipedia. We are going to test on Wikipedia. So, see, I got this new project, Wikipedia. All right. Now here Maven will automatically create all these folders for me. Now first we have to check our pom.xml. Okay. So here what we got in pom.xml. So what we need here, we need uh, uh, some dependencies. So we are going to use Selenium for testing. So we need the Selenium Java dependency first. Okay. For that, what we are going to do here, you can see this dependency stack. Inside this, we will include Selenium Java dependency. Where we will get that, we will go to the Maven repository. 
and just type in the Google Selenium Java dependency. See, you can see the first link it's Maven repository. I'll click there. This is Selenium Java, all dependencies are there. Just take the latest one, whatever you want to use. I will uh, take uh, Selenium 4 Alpha 7. Copy and go to the pom.xml and paste it within this dependencies tag. Okay. In case if you're not using any uh, template, there will not be any any of these things actually. In that case, you will create a dependencies tag, XML tag. Within the dependencies tag, you just paste this on. Okay. So you got Selenium Java dependency, and then we have to take some more dependencies. We'll take Web Driver Manager. We'll take Web Driver Manager dependencies as well. Just search it here. See here you can see Web Driver Manager. Okay. We'll take the latest version. The first one you can see nobody has downloaded yet, so we'll take a, a relatively stable version. We'll take this one, 5.0.1. Copy and paste. What else we need? Uh, at this moment, we don't need anything else. This uh, should be enough for us. So I'll save them. Save my form.xml, control S, and then, then what I'm going to do, I will create my project. Just check here, this Maven dependencies if it's updated. Yeah, see, it's updated. It's all got Selenium, Jars, and everything here. Okay, so when you use the Maven, this is the good thing. We don't have to download all the jar files. It's all in cloud. It will be accessed by Maven. Okay. So just copy and paste this dependencies plugin. That's all. Okay. Done. Now, what else we have to do? Now, here you can see in this project, there is little this thing, some error. Okay, so here in uh, in my machine, I am using Java latest version, Java JDK 16. Now here it's showing, you see, JRE system library 1.7. Now this one I have to adjust here. Just select it, right click, go to properties. Here you can see it's showing 1.7 JDK. Now I will select workplace default JRE. In my workplace, I'm using actually JDK 16. So it will be applied now. See, it's changed here. Again, this project name Wikipedia, I'll select it, right click it. Go to properties. Then here, Java compiler. Select Java compiler. See, it's showing 1.7. This one also, I'll change it to 16. Then apply and close. Yes. See, there is no any error now. It's all gone. Okay. So it's done. So my Maven setup is uh, complete now. What do we need to do? We'll go to project. See, in the menu, uh, menu bar of Eclipse, there's project. Click it. Clean. Wikipedia is strict, so clean. And then again go to project, build automatically. Okay, so now my Maven project is built. Now, what are we going to do now? I close this form.xml from here now. And now we will go to this folder. See? 
सोर्स टेस्ट जावा वॉट एवर टेस्ट केसेस विल राइट विल राइट इट हियर एक्चुअली सो सिलेक्ट द फोल्डर सोर्स टेस्ट जावा राइट क्लिक न्यू क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अ जावा क्लास हियर इन साइड विच आई एम गोइंग टू राइट ऑल द सेलेनियम इंस्ट्रक्शन सो आई विल गिव अ नेम विखी In Java, all the class name starts with a capital letter. Okay, so wiki runner, wiki runner. Okay, and here I will take this one public stat static void main. Uh, this method I will need here, so I will take it. So Eclipse will make that for me. Yeah. So now what we need to do first we need to connect Selenium web driver to the browser okay so I have to make the connection with Selenium web driver with the browser so establishing the first step is establishing web driver connection with browser I'm just writing this comment just to you know explain the thing what I'm going to do so for that there is a lot of way we can establish the connection but the best way is to use web driver manager web driver manager uh, before it was not there but uh, now web driver manager is there and it really really reduces a lot of coding so this is the best practice to use so I'm going to show you using web driver manager web driver manager dot chrome driver see you will already get all the options here okay if you want to use chrome driver you can select chrome driver if you want to use firefox you can use firefox and opera there are a lot of options there okay so now first i'm going to use the uh, chrome driver chrome driver dot setup okay so here chrome driver is set up and now i'm going to uh, make a uh, object I'm going to make an object of Chrome driver so how we'll do this hmm. so in this way we can create a Chrome driver object. Okay, so driver is a Chrome driver object. We have to import Chrome driver here. Now, one thing I want to tell you, like if we create uh, this Chrome driver object like this, what happens? In future, you will see we need to use a lot of functions which are actually from the web driver interface okay so if we use here this chrome driver we will not be able to use those functions okay so that's why what we do we write instead of chrome driver we will write here web driver okay so if we do this what happens web driver is an interface and chrome driver actually implements web driver so in this way we are creating the chrome driver object but still we can use all the functions which are mentioned in shine inside web driver interface okay so because chrome driver implements web driver so that's why we can create the object like this chrome driver object but we are making it typed web driver okay so these are all the java concept i assume that you have the basic knowledge of java 
So we we'll import here web driver class on the top. Yeah, that's all. So now basically our connection is created. Driver is that connection object. Okay. So now we can use the driver and we can do a lot of things. So first thing what we need to do, we need to get the URL where we are going to do the test. Okay. So all these functions will come. You can use those as per your requirement. So first we need to get our URL. So I will use this driver.get URL. Okay. So here I have to put the URL with an inverted comma. So which URL we are going to test? We'll test this one today. So I'll copy the URL. Control C. And I will put it inside the inverted comma. Okay. Now I will close all this here. Yeah. So we'll just test it now. If my script is opening the um what is called yeah, this uh, URL or not. Okay. So now right click run as Java application. See, Chrome driver successfully launched. Yeah, it's open the URL. Okay. So, web driver connection is established successfully. We can see. Now, there are a lot of functions you can use, like driver dot. You'll get all these things. Okay find element, get title, all those stuff you can use. You can play around with this. So we can we can use all those stuff. Okay. We can close up when we are opening at the end of our function, we can close the thing using the close function or quit function. So I'm not closing it now because I want to show it to you. See this close function. Uh, then quit is there as well. Quit function. Okay. So, whatever uh, code you will write at the end, you can close or you can quit. But I'm not uh, using that now because I have to show you what's happening. Now, all these functions you can use to manipulate as per your requirement. But today in this video, specifically, I want to show you how to deal with uh, select element in the web browser. So, for that, what you need to do? So in that browser, what you saw, there was a select element, okay? So what do we have to do first? First, we have to uh, check the XPath or CSS selector uh, or ID class, you know, all those things. Uh, I assume that you know the basic how to find out the web element. So, uh, but I'm showing you here as well. So I'm going to this element here. You can see, I'll right click and then inspect. So when we do this, we get that element here. And here I can't see properly what I'm going to do. I'll do it again. Right click, inspect. See, now I can see here this select id now all these types of drop down they are basically in html select tag okay in html select tag how is that when you open this within select there are lots of option tag within the option tag each option is mentioned like this false key slow now all these options see it's a mentioned and within option tag, there can be value, lang, and all these attributes. Okay, there can be more attributes. So it depends on the program. So the main thing is that within select tag, there will be option tags. Okay, now 
what I want to do, I will just select this, the HTML select uh, tag and right click, you can get copy. Go there and whatever you want to copy, you know, you can copy from here, copy selector, uh, copy styles and all those stuff. I will copy XPath, copy XPath. All right. And there are a lot of tools available also for finding expert, but uh, I think this is the best way without depending on any tool we can do that. So I got the expert here now. So, what we did here look first, we established the web driver connection at browser, then we found the URL finding the URL to be tested and now we have to find that element we want to test find the element I write web element to be tested so we are testing here this select element which we already show now we will find it how by using the XPath. We already copied that. So driver, this is our connection object. Driver dot find element. Okay. This is one element we are finding. So we will use the find element. Sometimes you will see we will find the list of elements. That's like a lot of elements together. So in that case, we will use the find elements. But here I am finding at the moment only one element, that select element. So I will use find element. Find element by, this is a class by dot. We can use all of these methods within this by. Now here I am going to use xpath. So I will use by xpath. So within inverted comma, I will paste my XPath, which I already copied. Okay. Yeah. So in this way, we can find that element, select element. Now, after finding it, what we are going to do, we will keep that result somewhere. Where? Now, for working with select elements, especially, we can use a class called select that is mentioned in Selenium Java library. Okay. So, we will keep it, uh, we will create a variable of class select and we will keep this result within that. How do we do this? Select cell equals new select so what we're doing here actually sorry we are creating an object of select class okay this cell this is an object of select class and what we are going to do this result which we got this uh, this web element we are going to pass that within this object okay so be careful about all the parentheses and all one two three yeah so we created a object cell of select class and within that object we passed that element which we got okay so now we have to import select class yeah we import this yeah that's all so our select class object is created and now we can use this 
to do any manipulation within that select object okay so and within this select object which we have we have that select web element which we found so basically we can do any manipulation with that select element now using this cell object so okay what do you want to do now do cell dot see all these functions are here sorry methods are here you can use this as per your requirement deselect select and all those stuff now suppose we want to select a specific uh, a specific what is that a, a specific option there within the select there are lots of options there was option bangla that was in the uh, seventh or eighth position i think so we can use here if you want cell dot select select by index select by value you know a lot of options are here i am using select by index so if that bangla is in eighth position the index always starts with zero so if that is at the eighth position so we will use here seven index seven when we will use index seven that means we will get the eighth option okay so cell dot select by index and what we are going to do well, yeah so we'll run it now and we'll see how it goes okay so right click run as java application see it's uh, launched successfully and see it has selected bn bn means bangla see if we if we select this one false key it comes pl if we select bangla it comes bn okay now uh, here we have used the index instead of index we can use other things also like if you go to inspect again see the select if you open the select with an option for bangla for bangla yeah this is bangla the value was bn can you see bn and uh, please see this is lower case bn java we are using java java is actually case sensitive in case of lower case bn if we write uh, upper case bn it will not work okay so we have to use this lower case bn as as it is mentioned here in the code so value equal to bn now instead of this index we'll just use this function cell dot select by index we have used now we're going to use value just to just you can play around with all the functions there you know so value was b n we'll put it in with an inverted comma save it and run it run as java application see it's selected bangla now if you want to select something else suppose is t okay we'll take a nearby one this one is it i don't know how to pronounce this yeah see we we'll find out the value here value okay we'll take this one asturiano okay asturiano Asturiano, the value is A S T, lowercase. Okay, so we'll do this. How it goes? A S T. Yeah. So now run. See, it selected that. Asturiano. A S T means Asturiano. What's that? This one, Australian. So that's all.
you can use different uh, you know attributes within the uh, within the HTML element to find the element like this. But most of the time, what do you do? We use XPath or CSS selector like this. But it's up to you, you know. Uh, depending on the situation, we have to use that. We have to see which is the best option. So, so we found the different options within the select. Now, there is another function, get options. See, get options. What it does, it gives, you can see here, it's already written here in the Eclipse. If you use Eclipse, that's the facility. See, get options. What's the return type? List web element. So basically, within the select ID, whatever options are there, how many options are there? So it will give, it will return a list of all the web elements, that option elements, whatever is there, it will return a list of that. Okay. So this function get options, basically its return type is list of web elements. So here, if we use this, it will return list of all the options inside that selected. Now, using these functions, Suppose we want to print out all the options mentioned there or we can first we can get the size of the options also. How? Like get options dot size. It will give us that how many options are there, the number of total total number of the options inside that select tag. Okay. So we'll get there and we'll print it out. System dot out dot print align. Now this is is going to return a number in type. So we don't need to put it in inverted comma or anything. Well, yeah. So it's going to print the total number of the options inside that list of that selected. Now right click run. Yeah. Now it's showing selected this Asturiano because because here already we have uh, created that selection here. Okay. That's okay, we'll leave it as it is now. Now, come to the console. See, it has printed 70. Total 70 options are there. If you count there, you'll see there are total 70 options inside that select tag. Okay. So now what we're going to do, so this cell dot get options basically this one the cell dot get options this one uh, this is giving us the list of all the options so what we are going to put that will create a list of web element mm. We'll give the name list select. Okay. List select. You can give any name, it doesn't matter. Now we have to import web element. Oh, we have to import a list. So basically, list is a class in Java. Okay. So we'll import that. And we have to import web element also. We haven't done it, I think. Yes, we have to import web element as well. Yeah, so now what we did, we kept the whole list of options within this list variable, 
list select okay so list is a class in java list select is a variable of that class type so we want to print out within list whatever uh, texts are there we want to print it out so how we can do we are going to use a for loop here for int i equals zero then i less than cell dot size so cell dot get options dot size okay this one which gave us the total count of the options i should i should be less than that because we are incrementing it by one so it will it should increase up to that size number only up to 70 okay not more than that so we get this condition here within the for loop we are going to print this system dot dot print la yeah so here the list variable yeah we took the list variable list select dot get index okay inside that we will put i because here index is i so it will from 0 to 70 you know it will go by increment and it will print it what we are going to print we are going to print um, get text we'll print the text okay so that's how within this loop it's going to print all the options text from 0 to 70 all right so control s and then right click run as java So now we'll go to console. See, in the console, first it printed the 70 total number. Here we we did the size, so it's printed 70 total number of the options, and then it it printed all the option text like this. Yeah, so that's how we can. Uh, we can do test the select element in HTML using the selenium and uh, in next video I'm going to show you how to test uh, links different types of links and how to test element within the element like maybe we'll select a specific block of the website and we'll select all the elements within that uh, block okay so we are going to test um, a lot of links and uh, elements within element checkbox radio box uh, radio button all those uh, elements in my next video okay thank you very much bye